G'day guys, what is going on? Jeremy Gourlay here from Grab Life by the Gourlays. Now, who on here likes to film late at night while the old wife is at work? Well, apparently I do. Anyway, it's bloody cold out here. Let's get inside. Also take the shoes off too. Now, if you're traveling around Australia in any kind of van, or even just weekends away, and you've got a couple of rug rats like us, Privacy comes at a premium, especially if you want to campfire and chill. Okay, so I understand that everybody's setup is different. Some people have a Constantina door, some people have no divider at all. But for us, we've got a curtain. Now when the parents want to campfire and chill, and the kids are in bed, asleep, fingers crossed, well, the curtain works okay at best. Let's have a look. Doesn't really keep all the light out. So if you want to keep your kids in the dark, figuratively and literally, stick around for my curtain hack or curtain mod. Now, before anything else, you need to pop on down the spotlight and get yourself some blockout curtain fabric and a birch press stud and tool kit. Also, if you join their VIP club for free, you receive exclusive discounts, offers, and get massive savings across their extensive range, which you can buy online or in store. They also have a price beat guarantee, though I'm not sure of any other stores that sell fabrics in Brisbane. But pop it in the comments if you know of any, and I'll check them out. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is sew the curtain hem. Then, you need to measure out the width of your curtain. 67 and a half. Now if you guys don't have a straight edge ruler, you can always improvise on the road. Let's measure this out. Now I'm using one of the chopping boards that we've got in the cupboard, which works pretty well. I'm also using birch tallow chalk, which is running a little bit low. But if you want to improvise, you can always use the kids chalk. There's a lot left there. Let's try measure it out again. Using the kids chalk. I mean the kids chalk isn't as fine. You have, to, you have to grind it down to make a little bit of a pointed edge. There. So we're almost done. And it's almost one o'clock in the morning. So it's almost time for bed. Well, actually, it should have been bed ages ago. But Jeremy being Jeremy in good fashion, likes to do things late at night. Now, I ended up finding some dressing scissors inside. But any scissors should do the trick. As long as you just cut a straight edge. All right, time to turn this bad boy on so we can use the sewing machine. There you go. Oh, check out this manly sewing machine. Now, I mean, real men sew with pink sewing machines, don't you think? So I don't have a long straight edge ruler, so this will have to do for now. I think this works a treat. And the good thing about chalk, you can easily rub it off. It's not permanent. All right, let's put this back. Oh shit, it's 3.30. I really gotta go to bed. All right, so let's check this out. It's not quite finished yet. Just gotta add a few studs there to secure it. Down the bottom and the top. Now, 
once you've sewn up all the hems of the curtain, all you've got to do is measure out the press studs and where they've got to go and drill them in. Now I've just gone with the three studs, top, centre and bottom, which I find sufficient. Don't need to do it super tight, then you repeat that for the other side as well. Now for the left hand side, I've only gone for the two studs, which I think is sufficient. Once you've marked out where you want to put the hole, grab the punch and punch a hole. Just tap, tap, tap the hammer. And then, and there you have it. So after you've punched a hole, you, you want to grab the base plate. You want to grab one of the buttons and you've got to pop that through the hole. Just like that. Then, grab the other piece, pop it on top. Now there's another tool that you grab that you use to flatten it all out. Let's give it a go. And there you have it. Now you just do the same for the other side. Now that will clip onto the other piece that's screwed onto your doorway. Righto guys, now once the press studs are in the curtain, it's time to hang the curtain up. Right, oh, let's pop it around the right way so it looks good on the outside. Now I have also sewn in some curtain ties as well with Velcro. And line them up, pop the press studs in, bam, pow, one down the bottom. Then, just pull it across, bring the curtain tight. As you can see, the Velcro is there. And then during the day, you can keep the curtain nice and tidy. Alrighty guys, let's test it out. Click the top one in. Click the bottom one in. Switch the light out. Now, you're always gonna get a little bit of light leak around the edges, which is okay, but it's a hell of a lot better, and the kids can't have prying eyes through there. Now, this curtain isn't soundproof, obviously, so when the parents want a campfire and chill, it's gonna have to be ninja smoochies. Ninja smoochies, shh. Righto, guys, there you have it. The cheap and easy, Caravan Curtain Mod Hack. Now, if you're after any more caravan mods, caravan hacks, or caravan installs, please like and subscribe, as I've got plenty more up my sleeve before we do our lap. All right, time to hit the road. Now, you're probably wondering, how do we close it from the parent side? Well, easy. Just reach in, click the button. Now, there's enough slack to put your fingers underneath to click it in. And there you have it, guys. Easy peasy, button squeezy. And privacy. <laughs>